Hey everyone, this is Devin at the York Public Library with another Cloud Library tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at how to navigate the Cloud Library app. So when we open it up, we can see our home screen on the bottom left. We'll see any items we have checked out at on top under Continue Reading. And then we also have these options to link out to our other apps. So we, you, through Cloud Library, you also have access to comics, movies, and magazines. Looking at the bottom of the screen, I see Home, My Books, Search, and Account. If I touch My Books, I'm taken to my selection lists. So we have our currently checked out items. So the two books that I have checked out are here. Now, if I was done with one of these items, uh, I can go ahead and hit one of the red return button. Last, if I want to confirm. And this is great for two reasons. One, if there's a hold list, it really helps out the next people in line if you're done with the book so that they have access to it. Just like a print book, returning it early helps them out. It also frees up any additional checkouts you might want. So you're limited to three checkouts at a time. Uh, and if you return a book, you get one of those checkouts back. On the top, we also have a history of all of our checkouts. So maybe you borrowed a book and it was awesome and you want to read it again. Maybe you didn't have a chance to finish it the first time around. Well, it keeps a nice history of all of your checkouts. We also have holds on the top. Uh, so as you may have saw in one of the earlier videos, uh, the hold list can be a little daunting sometimes. Uh, you may have forgotten all the holds you've placed or if you've already placed a hold on an item. And you can check those there and cancel them if you'd like. Under the saved list, um, Maybe when you're going through books, you want you don't want to place it on hold, you don't want to check it out, but you want to remember to read it later. So there is a save option for all those books, and it keeps them in a nice list for you here. Uh, and when you're ready, you can see that it has the borrow button already there if it is available. So I could borrow that book right now. We talk about search and browsing under the search tab already. And if we touch account down below, we can see our library card. That's the card associated with the account. That's really useful if you use Cloud Library at a different library or in a different state. So you can check and see which account and which collection you're using. Same deal, library details it gives you the same info. You can tell it whether you want to um, stream the audio or download audio only. So I will allow it to stream on my cellular data, but it can't download the full audiobook on cellular data. You can automatically open borrowed books. You can disable the device lock while reading. You can opt out of anonymous usage statistics. Help and support. Uh, you contact us pretty much, but there are some tutorials from Cloud Library. Uh, and then there's a the kids mode as well. All right. Thanks for watching.